Okay. <coughs> okay, so we got a chapter tracker, we got druids, we got everything that we need to play. Cool, cool. And we are going to start this bad boy up. So, introduction and objective. Uprising, Curse of the Last Emperor is a fully cooperative, strategically challenging, and deeply immersive experience for one to four players. The game takes place on the Isles of Azul, a backwater of the known world in one of the last remaining pockets of civilization. You take on the leadership of a formerly enslaved faction, the fierce Crow, the unbending Durkar, the mysterious Druin, and the vengeful Mo Yar, and lead their uprising against the broken remnants of the Empire. But beware, for beyond the frozen seas lurks a far greater danger, the Hordes of Chaos driven by insatiable hunger on their way to Azul. Both will fight you, and each other if they can. Over the course of multiple chapters, every faction collects victory points. The Empire and Chaos also collect victory points, oh, wow. and their actions are controlled by the players and the game itself. When any faction gains victory points, move their victory point tracker around the map. The goal for all players individually is to have more victory points than the Empire and Chaos at the end. You can gain VP by defeating armies of the Empire and Chaos in combat, providing shelter to the survivors by building havens, or solving quests. At the end of the game, each player has more VP than both Chaos and the Emperor. You all win together. What? Whoa, so it's the first co-op co co game? 4X. I love it. Interesting. And this, this is going to be cool. I was not expecting that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> gotta start the <laughs> game <laughs> by... Change my mind mindset. Can you betray people? Start the game by placing the chapter tracker at the top of the chapter track and resolve each step one by one. So, go down one. And that says reveal Bill. one druid card. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me let's get the camera set up all real nice, and then let's look at the overhead uh, here. Turn this one. And uh, we got this remote control. Okay, cool. and so then I have my little console here, which is pretty sweet. So we got it all set up real nice for y'all. Okay, so uh, reveal one of the druids. Okay, here you go. Uh, this is Tree Mother. Uh oh. Uh, place your... Okay, it just says reveal one. Tree Mother, archery and clash. Place your cheapest unit in resources from the reserve here. Uh, I, we don't know how these work yet, so we're not going to uh, do anything with that yet. What's the next one? Uh, it says flip all your face down cards back to face up. Okay. We It says ignore the pass first player token on the left on chapter one. Go ahead. Uh, so What's next? Next after that is... Regain all action points. Yeah. Well, all we right. have eight action points. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What else? Next is deal three new item discard uh, old ones. Okay, so hey, thank you very much. SMZ Laos to hey, Joe. What's what up? up, man? Happy to be with y'all. Well, thank you for dropping by uh, tonight. What's up, SMZ? So let's go ahead and put three of the cards into the item slots. If you'll read them for each one yeah. that you're doing. All right, so the first one is <laughs> some leaves. Mm. Uh, something leaves. You smoke them? X, X, X <laughs> right. Z Zyrite. Zyrite leaves. Mm -hmm. Discard this to add any one die to any player's roll outside of combat before rolling. So that's what it looks like right there. And that is our first item. Zyrite leaves. Zyrite leaves. Okay. All right. Next one is healing potion. After combat, discard this to place one of your units destroyed here on any of your havens on your hero's hex. Don't know what these. And the last item is the Zyrite leaves again. So we got two leaves that do what? They, um... 
Discard this to add any one die. Basically, give you another uh, extra dice. Extra dice in combat. And the other, one, and the final one. Yes. Uh, it'll save one of your dudes. So discard this. And place one of your destroyed units here uh, on any of your havens. So again, don't really know what that means, but I'm sure we'll get to it. The havens are the little circles on our. Oh, our okay. So you would put replace. One of your dudes to right here. Okay, cool. Moving on. Um, what's the next one? Next one is deal three new quests. Three new quests? <laughs> yeah. What is this guy? Uh, that's your guy. That's not my guy. I don't know. That's that the is. executioner. One, two, three. Okay, the first quest is... Strike at dawn. Lady Kama's motto was taken by the heart of the Druin. A dart at dawn is worth a hundred spears at noon. Four skulls, one shield, two um, lightning bolts. Uh, I don't know. To solve it, one legion or horde loses two threat. To fail it, activate the legion or horde with the lowest initiative immediately. If it fails. Willing to fight. After the butcher scored Earth's offensive, freeing his captives and arming them for their revenge was imperative. Solve. Place one basic unit on each of your havens. Every other player places one basic unit, so we don't know how these work yet. And then Imperial Sky. Immediate. Dark wings above. For every player, place one garrison on a hex with a garrison. One activation token on the Legion deck. And the next Legion you draw gets that token. I think before we do that, let's not do that one yet. So, okay. So, here are the three quests. Okay. We don't really know how to do those yet, but we will learn. All right. What's the next bit? Um, so, three quests. Pass the first player token to the left. All right. We skipped that one. Okay. Now we do the event phase. Okay. So... can last from two to four turns okay so now we go to the events phase the events represent the unfolding final days of azul the remnants of the empire frightened but rich lash out grim horns of the undead and barbarians approach from the darkness of the ice waters and strains visitations by uncanny things breed great fear amongst the small folk in the events plays players will populate the map with imperial legions and chaos hordes Okay, Chaos Hordes, as well as other effects shown on the event card that is revealed each chapter. Whenever a Horde or Legion comes into play, is there an event card? I don't see any events. Yeah, I see one. quests. Well, oh, there is an yeah. event, Chapter 1. Okay. Whenever a Horde or Legion comes into play, drop the top card of the matching deck, place its standee on the map, and set its threat. Threat represents its fighting power and how much damage it can take. Okay. To set threat, use the threat tracker and put it on the card at the number given by the current event. Each Legion and Horde also has an immediate effect uh, that occurs when drawn and placed. Complete the effects written. Okay, so the event step has uh, the event phase has the following steps. Add two threat by sliding the threat tracker up on each card to each Legion and Horde in play. Where's the event? Okay, tracker? there's no there's no um there's no horde in play yet. But there is uh a, this little tentacle. <laughs> there's fifteen threat trackers. Have you seen those? Which They're little black uh uh meters. Th those things right there. Those little Oh these ones? Yeah, I yeah. think so. No, no, no? We'll try to put those back. Those They're plastics that go no. on the side of a card that will go up and down on a track. No. I have not seen it. <clears throat> Oh, that is not good. It's a cooperative game, senor. Not these, right? It's only ones, other ones that I have that I don't know. 
Did we not get threat tracker? No. Oh. They slide up and down on the sides of cards, and uh, I mean, without being able to track the threat, then that's going to be extremely difficult. So, yeah. this had great, great components up until <laughs> we're missing, missing some. We're missing some. Yeah, huh? we opened everything. We opened it all. Because that's all the. Wow. Is there anything in that box? This is the Arch Nemesis expansion. I wouldn't think it would be in an expansion. Is it in this box? Oh, this is just the other army. This is the other faction. And then that's mine. Yeah. And huh. so... We truly are missing the threat trackers. Wow. Interesting. I'm wondering if other people. Let's look online. It's a known issue. That's weird, cause uh, where I mean, where do you put those on the? What put card? it on the side of a card. On the side of what card, though? Oh, this one? Yeah, this one right here. Nope. Which one? I don't know. Like that. So, that's that's uh, that's shitty. All right, anyways. Uh, if threat goes above their maximum, each faction gains one VP for each threat missed. Then the first player reveals the event for this chapter and resolves it, reading each part aloud. Resolve the effect on the card from top to bottom. Only the first player makes the final decisions. Finally, place one activation token on the card of each legion and horde on the last chapter. Do this twice. Okay, so here we go. Here is the first event. Jacross, thank you very much. Event chapter one. Threat, le threat four. Azir's Essence. The Inquisition seeks to assemble Azir's essence scattered when the curse destroyed all life on the mainland. Place one salt on each unexplored hex that shows salt. All right. If you explore that hex, gain it. Um, aware of the Prophet of Thorn's purpose, the Inquisition holds her captive, starving off the return of the old gods. Place one legion at threat four and its target on a sea tower. Uh, place one horde at threat four on any empty hex adjacent to a different sea tower. Okay. Uh, place one curse on any hex with no X's, empty if possible. So place one legion at threat four and its target. See, we really need those trackers because yeah. here is what it would be. Here's your threat. Uh, this one would be the courtesan would oh, come out. Oh, okay. So that's and where you put this, the tracker. It in. would be the coven of Yasat. And then I would need those trackers to put on the side of the card at threat level four. They're both at threat level four. We would have to just remember that, I guess. Yeah. Um, put one legion at threat level four and one hard horde. So, um,. And I guess the courtesan. Oh, the courtesan at, and its target on a sea tower. Unexplored sea tower. And then the coven of Yasat. The cover of you sent on any empty hex adjacent to a different sea tower. Okay. Place one curse in any hex with no red X. One curse. I, one of these is a curse. Nine curse standing. Any hex with a red. Uh, any hex is a red. 
So one of the outside ones. No, it says with no red X. Oh, with no red X. Okay. Empty if possible. Okay. All right. So I put everything everywhere. And so that is what the setup looks like. Um, right now. Finally, pass one activation token on the card of each Legion and Horde. Place one activation token. Uh, on the last chapter, do this twice. So, um, one activation token on each card. And that's it. If you place activation tokens at any other time, place it on one of the Legions or Horde cards with the fewest activation tokens. Mm -hmm. So that completes the end phase. So basically, that's where monsters pop up on the thing. So we okay. do refresh, which is what Jay took us through. Yep. We do the events. Then we build. We do actions. And then nemesis, production, and scoring. So next is build. build. Although not as advanced as the Empire, your people are willing and re resourceful. And new armies and infrastructure are constantly in production to win your freedom. Your hero is also gaining experience. All players resolve this phase simultaneously. At the beginning of the build phase, draw two feats from your feet deck and then pick one. The feat is immediately active, so you can use it as you play it. Discard the other feat by putting it at the bottom of the feat deck. So all of us start with um, this deck of feats. So you choose, you draw two and then you choose one. I have Grave Digger and Death Swarm. Discard this. Gain one item from the market. Discard, no. even if you could not use it. Well, there's nothing in the market. Discard. Discard this to remove any of your units in one hex from the game. Move any of your units in one hex from the game. Destroy one skeleton or one garrison for each of your removed units. I'll, I'll do that one. And I'll put this one at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we're good there. For me, all right. I got. Uh, I'll let me know. I got the basically to choose a plus one might, plus one magic, or plus one leadership, plus one guild. I go with the might because I don't know if that's any good or not. So basically, it says when you gain this, gain three resources, choose might or magic, and place it under your hero's card. All right, so, and then I get three resources. Is that any that I want? Or just any combination of? I'll just take one of each. How about that? Okay. That sounds good. And then I have the same type card. I'll gain three resources. I'll do the same, just one of each. I don't really know what okay. to go for. Uh, and then I either gain one guile or one leadership. Um, I guess I'll do a guile. Place it under my card. Hero card, yeah. What do we do with the one we drew? It goes under the deck of remaining bottom, cards. Yeah, on the bottom of your deck. Okay. Once you have built a haven, you may later build towers and walls called defenses in each build phase for one plunder each. Each haven can have one tower and one wall. If your haven is removed, so are its walls and towers. Walls and towers do not take damage from skulls. Towers give you one white dice in archery and clash rounds if you have any of your units on that hex. Walls give you one blue dice in clash rounds if you have any of your units in that hex. So we're probably going to want to build walls and towers cool. in our uh, in our home, home base. Yeah. So pay the resources listed on your player board. Remember the... Uh, you may walls or towers you pay for on for on any of your havens. Remember the hex limit of five player units, one haven, one tower, and one wall. So it's one plunder for each. So let's play. Let's pay two. Two plunder. Here's my two plunder. This goes to Jay. He's the uh, bank. Plunder's I'm red, right? Play, yeah. I'll pay my two. And also. then I do a wall and a tower. I like how they and then build a wall in the tower. 
It's kind of cool. That is really cool that they get placed. The the piece. Oh, Patrick. Yeah, he's really far away. <laughs> I could do it for you in the future. Um, okay. He destroyed the whole world. That's good. Unlike other actions <laughs> listed on your player board, you may always use the trade action, even during the build phase, to exchange one action point into one salt. So we all have eight action points. Does anybody want to trade one action point for one salt? No. Nah. We don't know yet. Yeah, don't know yet. You may always exchange three of the same resource into one resource. So three plunder for one food, three food for one salt, and that does not cost any action points. If you have no havens, place your hero on any unexplored empty hex and build units there. Um, all right, so then place any units, walls, or towers. Ah, to place units, you got to pay for the individual cost on the unit so check your uh so for a tribesman it cost me one food so i'm gonna build two tribesmen i'll build two archers and then an elite rider that's three salt and two food so i basically spent a lot of resources wait so you get Times four hunters, so is that w no? That's just how many component limit how there is. The symbol below it is how much each of those costs. If you want to build another haven, it costs one salt and three food. All right, so four of those one, two, three. Four. Now, remember, there's a component limit of five. Uh, yeah, per hex. The hex limit of five player units. I don't know if it counts your main guy as one. Oh. It does not. You okay. can... Yeah. So, if I wanted to, I can spend the rest of my food and get one more guy, which I guess I'll do. Here's one more food for you. Right. Right. And I placed all these guys right Your there. guys are super cheap, man. My guys are very cheap, but they might be shitty. So I got one warrior there. Man. That's it, man. I can't buy anything else. I bought two guys. And uh, what are you building, uh, Patrick? So I have any two resources to build archers and yeah. uh, little warrior guys. So I built two warriors, one archer. Mm -hmm. And then I have this uh, berserker right here, which is two salt, three foods. Yeah. And then the uh, the slavers right here is my other guys, three salt. Two. All right, give me all your guys, and I'll put them on the board for you. Okay, Patrick has a ton of guys, and I just knocked over his hand. Plunder. Okay, so far we're building up our empires. Yep. And nothing. Okay, so that was the build phase. Now build phase <laughs> is done. Any two, any two. Oh, man. That's... Oh, shit. You know what? I was doing both. You, oh, you have an about? ore? Yeah, Either so ore? Uh, let me get... Damn it. Okay, so then I'll put this one out. So that's good. So just so you then remember, we started with five salt, five plunder, yeah. and five food. I, I paid. Yeah, and then yeah. you got six. Yeah, each. I'm good. All right, ready? Are you good? Uh, I could buy one more. Should I buy one more or keep my shit? Uh, I spent all my resources except for three I don't know if I want to buy it. I don't want to do that yet. I don't know what my resources. resources are good for. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Ready? I'm good. All right, now we move on to action phase. Now, each of these little gems that you have is an action. In this main part of the chapter, when players... This is the main part of the chapter. 
When players will use their limited time to move their heroes to new lands, solve puzzles, and command their armies into battle. During the action phase, in clockwise order, starting with me, players spend their action points. This continues until all players are out of action points. All players start with eight. Every action costs one. Some actions also have additional costs and resources. Uh oh. You can find a short <laughs> summary of each action on your player board together with the cost in AP and resources. Ah, shit. Okay. <laughs> so if we look here, yeah. there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actions. Really, the only thing that costs command, pay one food, choose an unexplored hex, move any of your units there. So I'm going to delete one of my um, warriors and get back one food. Don't do not do it because that'll be my first action. Right. Um, so command, pay one food, choose an explored hex. Choose an explored? Oh, that, wait a minute. Yeah, that's yeah, one of the actions is to explore. Oh, that's to move units in an area that's already there. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, give me one food. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if Oops. I'm going to do that yet. Explore. If your hero's hex is unexplored and has no curse, flip it to resolve its effects. Or move. This action does not move your hero to an adjacent hex. So I'll do that one. And if I move to an adjacent hex, I guess... Man, I don't know if I want to move here and fight. That's the that's a uh, boss, boss. to me. Balls, balls, balls. Take them all. You can, you let's can move, go into uh, the unexplored one first. And then, oh, but it, it, I don't explore it yet. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, that's a separate yeah. AP. Yeah. So yeah. I moved, and uh, now it's uh, your turn. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll move. Uh, I'm going to move right here. So there's that. I'm going to move my guy. Ugh. Does when it's your turn, you may take the move and or trade action as often as you want. Oh. And then you may take one other action. Okay, well, there you go. You could So you can move and explore. Okay. You must take at least... You must take at least one of these. You cannot skip spending AP. Then the next player takes their turn until everyone is out of AP. Yeah. So I move and then explore. Yeah. So you, you're almost paying two. All right, so this is the Netherwood. Units and heroes here are adjacent to any sea tower. But Stronghold of the Druids. A gloomy breeze caressed in the ruins in the Netherwood. Gain two resources plus choose a player to roll their hero dice. Four plus skull. Every player gains two resources. Two plus skull. Every player draws one feet. Two plus this, every player does that. All right, so gain two resources, plus choose a player to roll their hero dice. What resources do you want? I want uh, food and salt. So, and um, you used it. the action. Explore doesn't have any cost to it, so you move and what? explore. If your hero is unexplored. Yeah, there's no cost to it, so don't use your Why action. is there no cost to it? Uh, the, oh, fuck, I don't know. But there's no cost to it. Why Everything no else cost? has cost, except for quest doesn't have a cost. No, you have to put an action token on it. It doesn't say? It's always one action token plus whatever the cost is. Okay. It so it costs two actions to move? Yeah. Is that? Every action always costs one AP. Some actions also have additional costs and resources. Each action costs one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Get it? Okay, that's so that's a yeah, that's a catch all for all of them. Uh, the one right there, okay, yeah. So I will, so you're done then. I'm done, is that correct? Okay, well, now you got to pick somebody to roll, right? Yeah, uh, well, you know, that's exploring. So let me go to the explore. You got me a beer. Read the name of the hex you may make often. Oh, uh, cool is cool. So I'll have Patrick roll his hero dice. Okay. Uh, are so, they the yeah, what is your values over here of your hero? Thank you. Uh, my hero 
is two might, zero magic, one lead. So get two red dice. What else? And then uh, one lead. And then two guile, because I have... Two guile, you either choose between the white or the purple. Or white or the yellow. I don't see a yellow. Oh, here. So I could probably go one white, one yellow, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll those on the green screen. Let me see if I've got that set up. Here, put your hand on it first. Okay, well, no, we're good. All right, so you rolled. Uh, how many skulls? Four. Four. Okay. It's not showing the yellow one. I don't know there. Because the yellow is... Uh, yeah, close tough. to green. Yeah, yeah. All right, if you rolled four plus, then every player gains two resources. I did it. Yay. I did Give me it. one salt and one food. Good job. You want one salt, one food? Yeah. I will take two salt. Let me Patrick. Get, uh, two, uh, was it, Refu might, retribution, was it red? Red, uh, plunder. Plunder. Now, uh, if you rolled two shields, did you roll any shields? No. no. Did you roll any uh, lightning bolts? No. No. If you fail all of these, place one horde here and only here. So, but we didn't fail because we got one. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing you did. So I must. Do I get this if yes. I go here? If you explore that, you get the uh, salt. Okay, so I get the salt. I'm exploring this. Ralph, Ralph Frost. Is that pointed? Hold on, let yeah. me fix that. That's pointed towards me. So to move and explore, is that two AP you just used? Yes. Yeah, it's right. two AP, and um, but it normally you can only take one action, but uh, the moving one was free. But not free, free. I don't know why they describe it like that. <laughs> because it's... Uh, hold on. I'm, I need to focus. Uh, flip horizontal and then flip vertical. There we go. So again, uh, it was Ralph Frost. Uh, when Empire invaded Azul, they established their first foothold on Ralph Frost. Gain two salt. If empty, place one garrison here. If if mm. not reinforce here, place one garrison on any empty hex with no. It is empty. It so is empty. here's one garrison. Cool. No, not cool. No? Oh, so that's the empires that's, are bad. That's theirs. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's crazy. Keep reading. Is there anything else? No, there? that's it. Okay. Okay, for my turn, I'm gonna move one and then. Okay, explore. which one are you moving to? My, my hero, just to the uh, salt the, area. The salt, grab yourself the salt. And then I'll and spend another AP to explore. Yeah, go ahead and read that. Put that on camera whenever you're ready. All right. So it is gain three uh, salt. Nice. Plus, uh, if empty place. One skeleton here. If Ooh. not, <laughs> reinforce here. Okay. Uh, it was empty, so one skeleton goes there. That's your three salt. <coughs> okay. And let me get that. Plus uh, uh, one empty. If not, reinforce here. Uh, plus, place two skeletons with other skeletons. Oh, place so it two go skeletons there? with other skeletons. It does go there. Oh. The other skeletons get other skeletons? Place two skeletons with other skeletons. Oh, there's one skeleton here and there's one there. Yeah, and there's one, one there. Here, yeah. right here. Place two skeletons. So, um, I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to put one here. Since you don't have a boss next to you, you only have a tentacle. I don't know if that's uh, if yeah. there's a special way to do it. We'll look it up. It's, as well, we go it did along. say the first player gets to decide. Oh, okay. so that well, then that's I'm, you. I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah. So you could kind of screw each other over. So let's when we all go around once, let's be kind of fair, and then we'll, we'll take over screwing. <laughs> <laughs> so split it as well as you can. Yeah. All right. Uh, so now that we've done that, we go back and forth. 
If a feat or item says it can be used in actions, you can use it when it is your turn. This does not normally cost any AP. If you have no AP, you may still be able to generate effects that do not require AP. After you pass, play passes to the left. If you pass but gain AP later, you are no longer passed. Here's a closer look at the seven actions. Move, trade, command, explore. If empty place means that if there are no units, garrisons, skeletons, legions, hordes, or player units, then place that unit. Note that heroes are not units. Okay, heroes are not units. Okay. Reinforce means that if there are units of the Empire or Chaos here, add one more of the same type. All right. Haven, Market, West. That's it. All right, we just keep going around right. as we do our... So I'm, it's back to me. Yep. And let's see here. I can trade. You may always... You may use this action always. This action does not end your turn. Gain one salt. Heroes here may give or take resources from each other. Heroes here. As well as any item the receiving hero could use. Heroes here. I don't know what that means. Heroes here. Which one? Here where? Where trade? is here? Maybe in the same spot. Yeah. Heroes on the same hex during the trade action may also give freely or take resources freely from each other as well as any item. Okay. Uh, well, I don't need to trade. Uh, command. Pay one food. Choose an, choose an explored hex. Move any of your adjacent units there. So you have to explore before I move in? Yeah. So it sounds like... Mm. Haven, pay three plunder. If there's no curse, enemy unit, Haven, or X in your hero's explored hex, place one of your Havens there. Oh, man, that means I can't put a Haven. Where? I'm going to place in Haven where my hero is at. Uh, okay. Don't know what it does? Don't care. Here. Three Haven. All right, that was it for mine. What do you want to do? I think I'm going uh, to explore. So move, explore. Right here. Take that. You went to a sea tower. What, yeah. are, what the hell are those? We'll find out. So Z-Guard. Z-Guard, that's what it is. Units and heroes here are adjacent to any hex if you have hero, if your hero is here, pay one salt less for items on the market. Okay, that's kind of cool. So this one is gain two salt plus remove any skeletons here and then place a garrison here. Okay, Ugh. so you gain two salt, you remove skeletons, there's no skeletons. And then place a garrison. And place another fucking empire garrison. But if I'm here, I can buy stuff for one less. <laughs> so does that mean it's free if it's only one? <laughs> does it say down to one? Uh, it says... It says... Units and heroes here are adjacent to any hex. That's kind of cool. If your hero is here, pay one less for items on the market. Yeah, I would say it's free. Uh -huh. it, unless it says it on the card, it yeah. should have typed to a minimum of one, yeah. right? But it didn't right. type that, so you can have it for free. Technically. Yeah, next, next time I'll trade and, and, or go to market next time. So I'm not, I can't fight off that zombie yet with my leader? Uh, that I think you, uh, I don't know. That I think you can. Maybe it's in a different phase. Combat. Whenever your units are in the same hex with enemy units, Empire or Chaos, or the Empire and Chaos meet in the hex, combat occurs. Combat lasts until all units of one side are destroyed. Each unit contributes their dice. They come in six colors. So I think um, you do fight. So should I be fighting those uh, fortresses? or No. No? Th you don't fight those? I don't think so. 
Or can I like but move, I think he move, will a, move a guy in and fight? No, you think you fight right now. I have to resolve it right away. Yeah. Whenever player units are in the same hex with Imperial or Chaos units, combat occurs. Players do not enter combat with each other, nor may they share the same hex. So we can never go in the same player units. Oh, the other ones. Heroes can say the same hex, but not our player unit. The smaller ones. Yeah. All right. Combat is resolved in one or more rounds, starting with the single archery round, then continue with clash rounds until one side is destroyed. So dice in combat. So it's in a its own round. Yeah. So let's do our first combat between Patrick and the skeleton. Right? Ready? Get him, Patrick. I think. Ready. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let me do a combat round. Let's see I how we do this. I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, <coughs> your, hero, your units each add one die to the combat of the color shown on the standee. Heroes do not add their hero dice in combat. Oh, so you need you need some dudes over there with you. To do okay, combat. I don't think that they do. Yeah, so you're not technically in combat because you're not a unit. Remember, it said heroes are not units. Yeah. Whenever units are in the same hex with Imperial or Chaos. Yeah. yeah, okay. So you're good. No combat yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just move and explore with Archer. Yeah. Over here. How do you do that? Move. Uh, move your hero to an adjacent hex even if it is unexplored. You can't move that guy. What action are you using to move that guy? Move. Move is move your hero to an yeah. adjacent hex. Yeah. That's and then not you would, how you move units. How you, you would move, move ask Jay command how move command you would use command to move your units. Which cost food. Your troops yeah. march on their bellies. Yeah. All right. Do you have and any food? No. Okay. Well you could go you can actually uh Well, I wouldn't waste it now because he'll just get food later. I mean you could do a trade. He could have been Kent. So I can I'm just gonna move my hero yeah. over there and move explore. Yeah, move explore with my hero right there. Alright. I have Riga and it's gain two food. A hey, uh, if empty place one garrison here. Uh, if not, reinforce here. Place one garrison on any empty hex with no X. Know how to do it? Place one garrison on any empty hex with no X. So, garrison here, here, and there? Let me see. One, one garrison. Gain two food. Got so, it. So, okay. Got it. Uh, if empty, which it is, place one garrison here. If not, reinforce here. Plus, place one garrison on any empty hex with no X. Okay. Um, and I'm still active player, so I, I choose. And these these fucking um, garrisons came out crazy. Yeah. There's just too many. How do we get rid of them? I don't know. It's a good. Uh, we'll 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 see that at the end of the turn. All right, I'm done with that. Uh, okay, so that's done. Uh, my turn. Uh, I've got, let's see. Choose an unexplored hex. Move any of your units, max five, and or hero there. So your hero can go too. But why would you want your hero to go into battle, right? Yeah. I guess you can move him and then explore him. Well, your hero can't go into battle, right? So for command, watch this. If I put one in command, yeah. right? And I pay one food. It says, choose an explored hex. Oh, right. that's the problem. Right. Okay, no. Um, give me my food back. Yeah. That's the damn problem. All yeah, right, so well I then can, I'm like, going to move. move from here to here. Because so. I want to fight this fucking thing. So I'm going to move into here and I'm going to explore. Right. I'm going to gain that salt. My hero doesn't fire off, you know, a fight. So, this one is called the Grim Fangs. Like blades, the ice here gnawed its way into the intruders of the Grim Fangs. Give me two salt. And fuck, two skeletons are here. All right. And place two other skeletons. Let's 
four skellies. This is this is ridiculous. So place two skeletons here. Place two skeletons here. And then place two skeletons with other skeletons. Put one here. And put one here. Okay, it's really populating the board now. Yeah. Uh, that was my turn. So uh, your turn, Jay. All right, so I'm going to... Okay, I'm gonna explore, exp move, explore. This one is birth guard, <laughs> Bruth, Bruth guard. When it's your turn, you may make the move or trade action as often as you want. So that lets your guy go one, two, three, four, I yeah. guess. But you have to have the action points for it. And then one other action. Uh, so gain two. Uh, if empty, place two skeletons here. If not, reinforce here. Plus place two skeletons with other skeletons. Well, we're out of skeletons. So we hit the component limit. So just place the skeleton where it is first. All right. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. All right. uh, Patrick, what do you want to do? I want to build a haven. Build a haven. Where, where my hero is. Okay, so that's three plunder. Yeah, it was two plunder. If there's no curse, enemy unit, haven, or X in your hero, explore it, Hex. Place one of your havens. Mine says two. If the His two? Mine. Yeah. Oh, your, yeah. Yours is different. But is that... Is this fortress... Doesn't, no, it hasn't mentioned it. Give it's it to me. What? Your my haven. garrison? Or what are haven. That's my two. Yeah, it just says pay two uh, if there's no curse, enemy, unit, yeah. haven, or X. Let me go. Okay. Oh, that's what heroes are for. Okay, questing. Mark, gain one item from the market that your hero can use. Pay one to choose an item. To choose an explorer hex. Mm. I guess I'll do the first battle. That's Resident Evil 2. Ryan, that's a really good board game. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go command. Pay one. Move all your units. There's one. Okay. All right, I'm going to go and fight. Cool. Do y'all have a max? I only can move five. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, I everybody think everybody's five. five, five. Yeah. Mountains. I didn't notice the mountains. Yeah, mountains. Heroes and units of different factions cannot participate in each other's combats. But maybe the riv different races don't trust each other fully. I think heroes do contribute. Yeah, I think they heroes contribute. do not add their hero dice in combat, but maybe something else. Uh, that's kind of weird. Okay, your heroes each add one die to the combat of the color shown on the stand D. Okay, so off I have. What do I have? I have two tribesmen. So two red. One archer. No, two orange. No. My guys are different from you. Tribesman, give me two orange. See? Yeah. You're not uh, I'm looking at them right there. Game. Oh, give me one white. One white. One red. One red. All right. But the archers fire first. So that's sweet. And thank you, too. Happy Easter, everyone, says Empire of Dirt. Thank you, Empire Happy of Dirt. Happy Easter. Looking forward to my Easter uh, dinner. Garrisons gain more dice depending on how many are in a hex, uh -huh. while skeletons always use red dice. Dice from both factions okay. in combat are rolled simultaneously, so units two don't normally dice. get destroyed before they roll. roll. So uh, we need two reds for the skeletons. Yeah. We don't really know how this one works yet. One skull and one blank. Okay. I got two skulls and one... Uh, lightning bolt. Let's see what happens. Skulls. 
Skulls are damage. Each player unit, garrison level, and skeleton can take only one skull of damage. Then it is destroyed. You decide which of your units are destroyed. Hordes and legions can take as many skulls as they have threat. When you damage a legion or horde, slide the threat tracker down for each skull. If they have no threat left, they are destroyed. Okay, so I'm fighting that too on threat level 4. So, Noba, hope everyone is having a nice day. Thank you. Um, oh, that was Bugsy. Bugsy Bugs. Error. I want to give thanks to you, my friend. Tier 2, wow. Nice. Hell yeah. And Empire of Dirt was 35 months. So what this means is because I got two skulls, I killed two skeletons. Because the skeletons can only take one hit each. Right. However, and then bolts. A bolt either cancels one shield from your enemy or activates a god power. But something happens here a little before. There was supposed to be archery an archer round. phase. So yeah. combat sequence. Before combat, check terrain. Use feats and items. Check combat abilities on legions and hordes. All right. You roll the archery dice. Use archery feats and items. Okay. So let's do this differently. We did it wrong. So I need to check terrain. This is done on the Gray Fangs. I think that's the terrain. Yeah, mountains. That mountains. Or ice or something. I'm not sure. I think they all have that symbol, actually. No, this, ice this waste. No effect. Okay. okay. So that symbol has no effect. Oh, nice. Okay. okay so yeah. fire archers first. One kill. So before anybody gets to act, we'll kill a skeleton. Skeleton. That was Sparky. Thank you for the biddies. What's worse, the die rolls or season one of Suicide Squad? <laughs> <laughs> Suicide Squad. Season yeah. one is way worse. Clash round. Roll dice. Player archer units can also add their dice. Oh, they get to fire twice, basically. Use, and then use, use feats, feats and, and items. items. Replete. Uh, so what are feats? Oh, those are the cards. After combat, if you have plus one units here, gain two resources. Archery, if you have two plus Vargs here, gain one orange die. Nope. Okay. So I'll roll this. And did kind of worse this time. Two um, skulls. Two skulls. And then you roll only... Oh, well, we have this, so let's see. Level four. Oh, shit. I took some archery. Uh, two orange archery. Fire. One skull. One, one skull. skull. So I'm gonna lose one guy before anything happens. Before I roll this, because I lost the guy. Um, oh my god! Well, that's a big army, isn't it? It's a massive army. Uh, you might not want to do that yet, just yet, right? So you see four. So you're rolling two archery dice. Mm -hmm. Next, when we clash, roll one purple. One purple. Three blue. Three blue. And one white. One white. Oh, my God. I'll go one combat round and see if I can sustain. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Yeah, yeah shit. Do you have uh, anything to add? Any of your cards? No. Uh, uh, discard this card to remove any of your units in one hex from the game. Destroy a skeleton or garrison for each of your units in an adjacent hex. Mm. All right. Um, repeat clash. Damage after damage. Yeah, this is uh, dumb, but let's try it. <laughs> yeah, let's see. let's see. Let's see what happens. Hey, I got a good roll, I guess. I did not do well. I only got one, two skulls. Maybe and those a are weaker bolt. die. Yeah. So you had two skulls and a lightning, uh, lightning bolt. That's yeah. what I have. I had two skulls and a lightning bolt. So let's see what we can do here. Bolts either cancel a shield from your enemy or activate a god power. Uh, see page 40. So, I kill two of your units, you kill one of mine. Or you kill two of mine. Let's see what god powers are on page 40. Druids and god At the start of each chapter, a druid card is revealed, making their god power available to all players. Whenever you roll a bolt, that's when this uh. druid comes in. So, this druid 
is archery and clash place your cheapest unit in resources from the reserve here place your cheapest unit in resources from the reserve here max five units after damage once per round so the tree mother is like rezzing resin guys for me after the battle now let's see what hers is the bad guys flip all your feats and items without using any of them before damage once per combat flip all your feats and items without using any of them oh I, is she turned off all of my feats. Uh -huh. Flip all your feats and items without using anyone before doing both of them. All right. Let's keep going. Um, so now, how do I apply damage on this motherfucker? Skulls. Hordes and legions can take as many skulls as they have threat. When you damage a legion or horde, slide the threat tracker down for each skull. If they have no threat left, they're, they're destroyed. I can't believe we don't have any threat, threat, tracker. I know. threat trackers. So it goes from four to two. No, it would go four to three because you have the, you'd kill this guy too. So you kill this guy with one skull and then go down on that with one skull. No, I need, I need to bring this down f quicker. Fuck, fuck that guy. Oh, because you can choose, right? Yeah, well, it, I think red dice are worse. So we'll get that and then we'll go down. So I'm at three. Yeah. So got it. Now, um, do you go again or is it next right, turn? Let me check. Repeat the clash. Until which one is side until has no, one side units, has no yep. units. So um, I still have these three, right? Or how much damage did you do to me? I did two to you and you did two to me. And I didn't kill one of my guys yet. So two of my guys are dead. I'll take these two. <laughs> yeah, because you lost one of the. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So now all I have is the red dice. And, and I, then what's he have? And I think we did that. He's now has. He's down to a three. One purple, two blues, one white. Two blues, one white. Because purple and black are like the worst. Uh, uh, give me a second to see if I can retreat because I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, blue, purple, it's not a good. I don't understand why your your hero doesn't contribute to the battle. No, I'll repeat clash until one side has no heroes or you. So we just got to keep going until we fucking completely die. There goes. There you one. go. Well, that helps. I get uh, the tree lady helps me. Well, and you did what? One skull, two lightning bolts. Lightning bolts no longer do anything, so that's good for this because I it only happens once per combat, and then one skull. Yeah. Well, that kills my remaining guy, but I also kill one of theirs, so they're down to a threat level two, and then I die. All right. After the combat, remove Haven Legions, retarget, resolve effects of destroyed hordes and legions, use feats and items, combat end. All right. I think I figured. I think. I think we're good. But I don't know what. Heralds do not add their herald dice to combat. So bringing my hero there was. Didn't help at all. So heroes just go on quests. <laughs> okay. And that kind of sucks. I wish they would explore, at least fight. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they explore. Oh, yeah, they I wish they would <laughs> contribute a little bit. All right, it's your turn. Uh, All right. So. Well, they have stats, so they have to do something. It might be for the quest, I'm thinking, you know. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move and explore with my last two. All these go in here. The graveyard. So, because my guys died in that battle to the chaos, they go into the chaos graveyard. Oh, really? Place your destroyed units here. Chaos gains two something for every faction in here. 
including oh, the Empire. Oh, victory points. Two victory points for every faction. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so <coughs> it's a Tundra Cavern Passage. If empty, place one skeleton here. If not, reinforce here. Roll your hero dice. Gain one salt per skull. Each other player gains two. So you guys both gain two salt. Two salt for you. Yeah, it feels like we've two got salt for you. resources are generating pretty fast. Yeah, and then roll my hero dice. Which one? Is that just my color? What's the hero dice? Your hero dice are on your hero's card. card. Roll that number of dice in so those colors. So one of each, basically, for me. So one. Yeah, you got one of each. Two, one purple, one blue, one orange, and one white. All right, you doing a, you're doing a quest. Well, for this, for this, uh, it, it'd be. I guess uh, it's for this um, right. place. Right. And I get. Yeah, I get. Gain one salt per. So I get one, two, three, four. Four salt. Nice. So there's three and uh, four. Cool. All right. So with my next AP, I'm going to try out one of the quests. Are Give you me done? one of those skeletons yeah. first. What's this guy's? Skeleton, yeah. Yeah, we actually did not hear. All right, I'm going to run our first quest. Yeah, let's try our first, first quest. quest. So, quest. Choose a quest. Roll your hero dice. You solve the quest if you succeed at enough of the goals. I'm going to give you all three cards so you can choose the card that you think you're going to succeed at the most. Took a took a minute to. I'm just gonna go with four spirit. So I need three three skulls, one shield, one lightning bolt, and I have two, three, four, five. So one lead, two green. I oh know those can be whatever. I want orange because those have all skulls. So two. So two orange. Yeah, two orange. One this blue? One. Oh, I got one blue already. Okay. Two two reds. Two reds. Two reds. All right. Let's see if I can pull this off. <laughs> what do you need? I need three skulls, one shield, one lightning bolt. Oh, this could be hard. That's the lowest. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. The rest of them are like two lightning bolt. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. Four spirit. Yeah. Do it. All right. Did I do it? Almost. I think one, two, three, shield, lightning bolt. I did it. Oh, well, nice. Okay. So solve with Barely. The, Just barely. Put these two back. Mm hmm So choose a hex with a curse. Pay five resources to remove that curse and gain one victory point. Okay, a curse are these big tentacles. There's a tentacle there, tentacle there, and tentacle there. Two near Jay, one near me. Uh, let's take like six here, the one in the middle. Yeah, let's take that one. Okay, you need to pay how much? Five resources. So uh, any resources of your uh, thing? Thanks. Most of salt. I'll go maybe one. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, that's cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, what's that bottom say? Your if hero. your hero is on a hex with a curse, plus one. Okay. Yeah. No. So that goes in a discard, and we throw another quest out. Correct? I'd assume so, yeah. Okay. Um, my turn. I've got two action points left. Do you? How do you? I have two action mm -hmm. points. Do Choose you? a quest. Yeah. Roll your hero dice. You've the been, like, moving and flipping. Cause that's yeah, like you, did a, you did some extra move and flips. Okay. Those are double the yeah. Mouse. yeah. Cool, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna do move and flip. So I'm gonna move and flip. Grab that salt and see what I explored. Uh, 
All right. I oh. found. You get. Units and hero heroes are adjacent to any hex. If your hero here, pay one less oh, for yeah, items on the market. The Still quest. unconquered after a millennia, the giant called Garagi ruled over an ever growing city of refugees around Garagi Tower. Gain four salt. Give me four salt. Remove any garrisons here. Place two skeletons here. Darn it. Four salt. And two skeletons. We only have one skeleton on component limit. All right. And that was it for me. So what do you got? Uh, I'm going to do one command and pay one food to move five of my guys to the... The two skeletons? Yeah, two, two skeletons. Rawr. Does okay. that automatically I initiate combat? I think yes. one has to okay. stay behind. Do I fire? Or is that no, 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 none have to stay behind. Nice. So fire your one white archer token right now. And see if you can shoot anybody with an archer. Shield. Nope. Shield won't help. Now their archers fire back at you. They have no archers. Now you do the clash. So you're going to have one white dice, one red dice, two orange dice, and another red dice. Wow, you got a strong army. And oh, yeah. they only have two red, red dice. So I'll roll for them. Three, one skull, three two sc skulls. I got three skulls and one shield. All right. Uh, so they, you, three skulls, you obliterate them. They die. However, they two skulled you. So, But I'll he had one shield, so it's only one. You did have one shield, yeah. so it's only one. So one probably warrior. take out yeah. one of the fighters. They go with the... Oh, that's right. Uh huh. And so he right there. That goes up two then, right? Now, two. place your uh, chaos gains two victory points for every faction in here. Two victory points for every faction. Oh, so, so he's they got have four. four victory points. Wow. They're kicking our butt. But I don't know if that's when that happens. I think that's during scoring. But okay. put them back because nobody has scored yet. Well, he would have on his um, quest. I don't know if we how who, do you, who quest on his quest yeah. he gains one one victory point. Oh yeah yeah I guess you get that immediately. Where does it say that? And gain one crystal. Is that what crystal? Is that what? Yeah, the, that's yeah. what it is. One? Yeah. It's a diamond. Where do you see the diamond? On that's right there. Okay, cool. Interesting. Um. All right, fuck it. Let's move it over there, and we'll see. We can check later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good job. And and then it's on me. I have nothing left. It's yeah. on you. You yep. have nothing left. Well, I can build. And oh. you have one left. Yeah, I have one left. But, fuck, I just realized I don't have the resources to build anything, really. Mm -hmm. You can could, you could, uh, trade or buy uh, buy something. So here it takes from. Yeah, I guess I'll just do. What's so? Now you could command again. That just move you guys towards you. If I trade, you I can, can trade. just uh, gain, gain one salt. salt. Yeah, I'll trade and gain one salt. Give him a salt, Jay. Jay, I'm, I'm giving him. <laughs> Did Give you just take it from your own yeah. salt? Because <laughs> it's trading. No, no, that doesn't mean that. He gains one salt, period. Okay. And then, if your heroes are in the same hex, then you can give or take resources from each other. Oh, okay. I thought. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to fuck Thank you, you Thank over. You. No, I'm trying to help you out. Gave me All right, that is the end of the actions phase. So that's kind of how this game works. Okay. Then, well, it's not done yet. Hold on. Yeah, now we have phase. Nemesis phase. After all players have acted, the Empire moves methodically to recapture their territory from the Rebel uprising. Then the hordes of chaos take their turn, attacking where their whim takes them. Shit. On the Nemesis phase, activate a Legion or Horde once for each activation token on the card by removing activation tokens one by one. So that's what those are yeah. there for. So these guys are going to act once, and these guys are going to act once. All right. Um, resolve each card in initiative order. From the lowest to highest. So this is a nine, and what is that? Two. Two, so lowest to highest. So these resolve first, 
the courtesans. <laughs> so, whenever a horde or legion is activated, we'll move across the map following a specific rule set. You can find the rules for activating a legion on that page and the rules for activating a horde on that page. All right, so the legion's coming after first, page 54. All right. For each activation, place one garrison here or gain one VP if there's already three in that hex. So one garrison on that space. Yeah, they just got garrisons everywhere. Yeah. yeah and then move the legion one hex closer to its target. Well, we needed to put a target. Count the hexes that form the route to its target hex. It never told me how to do the target. Yeah, it did the tell me. The it did tell me to put it and then target. Count the hexes that form. Remember, legions cannot crash. Uh oh. So when did that happen? That happened. Might have been when we placed the, the legions. Nemesis phase. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it happened in the events phase. Here we go. All right. Add two threat by sliding the threat tracker up on each hard. If the threat goes above their maximum. Then the first player reveals the event one. Okay. Finally plays one activation. Token. All right, it's on the card. Yeah. Oh. Um. Thanks, Craig. I think we're all going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a co op game. It's a co op. We all win. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we all lose. Specifically, me, though. Appreciate that. Here's one thing I did see while you're looking at that uh, gain one uh, victory point or diamond, whatever you want to call it, per. It's 47. Per destroyed garrison and skeleton and place them back in reserve. So you both would have got two uh, victory points. Each one? You both would have, at the end of uh, right, the complex Right, because uh, killing things give you victory yeah, points. Yeah, so he would be up to three, you would be up to two. Um, every legion is sent out of the capital with a clear goal represented by its target. E every legion has its own target that is placed by its immediate effect. Ah, Choose one player faction with no target, then place the target on one of that faction's havens that has the fewest units. Immediate dark lullaby. Every nation has its own. So, so this card, let's see, cars, your, your haven, that haven wasn't built yet, so that wouldn't have been a, a target. Choose one player with no target, then place has the fewest units. That's Jay. Jay had the fewest units. Mm -hmm. So, um, is there a target token somewhere? Unless I think it's the, one of the these. purple one. The oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's of the combine or whatever. Yeah, like that. Yeah. But I think it's a symbol of the thing. It's an actual, because it's like that. Okay, yeah. That's the this one. Put it on your home base. If every player already has a target and a new legion is placed, place its target on the capital. Targets on the capital stay there for the rest of the game. The legion will activate normally. All right. So now that you have a target. Because you've been targeted by the Dark Lullaby, you have one less action, Jay. 
We didn't do that, but we will do it in in the future. Okay. All right. So now uh, that we have a target for that person, let's see what the nemesis does. So I think it's going to march towards that target. Page 54. Okay. So um, move the legion one hex closer to its target. Yay. Okay. So goes right there. All right. Into a haven. If there are multiple havens, choose the haven with the fewest units. Into a hex with enemy units. If there's no haven, choose the hex with the fewest enemy units. If none of the above apply, into an enemy hex with a curse or garrison. Any hex closer to its targets. Okay. Begin combat if there are enemy units there. If the Legion wins a combat, remove any haven there. If the target is here, retarget by placing a target on another haven of that faction with the fewest units. All right, so that's it. So you got lucky. All right, now activate the horde. That one. Place one curse here. Okay. Boom. Activate the hordes of one here. Move the horde hex one hex. Move the horde one hex, not farther from the capital. Count the hexes that form a route to the capital if you're not sure. Well, uh, not further than the capital. So it's one. So I can move it to, yeah, so as long as it doesn't go further from the capital, right? That's what it's saying. Move the horde one hex, not farther from the capital. Um, count the hexes that form a route to the capital if you're not sure. Okay, here's how it goes. It'll go into a haven first. Then it'll go into a hex with enemy units. Then it'll go into an empty hex. And then finally, any hex that's not farther from the capital. So because my haven is here, burr, 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 he comes to my haven. Begin combat. If there are enemy units, player or empire, do not forget about the horde's combat ability. If the horde wins the combat, remove any haven. I think because it's undefended. I think your haven still fights, destroys. right? No, well, you have defenses. Good. Yeah, th the tower gives you defenses, and the walls give you defenses. All right, I guess my white and blue versus their much m m better stuff. Uh, it's like three, yeah. three, three red, though. Oh, no, that's one... That's one plunder one to buy. Plunder, yeah, to buy. So it. first, okay. my archers fire at him as he comes in. Nothing. Then you now and a blue, white and a blue. Uh, he's at level two. Uh, Patrick, purple, two blue, one white. Purple, two blue, one white. Yeah. And give me one blue. One. I rolled pretty goddamn good. I want got one block and no attacks. Uh, three attacks, two blocks, one lightning bolt. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop rolling them now. I was doing pretty. It's like the one time I want to have bad rolls. Okay, I think he blew away my capital, <laughs> but I still have a haven out there, so that's that's good. Actually, I think it probably would have gone to the other haven first, but we'll just say it went into that haven. All right. Fuck. Well, we got our butts kicked there. Let's see what happens next. So that's the nemesis phase. Activation tokens are placed on the cards of legions and hordes and will be used in the nemesis phase to activate them. Activation tokens are produced at the end of every events phase. Outside of the events phase, they are produced by hexes. Produced by hexes, quests, and other effects that are placed on one of the legion or hordes with the fewest activations. Some effects allow you to move or hold a legion. Initiative. So no no additional activations necessary yeah. now. Initiative. Two is used to determine the order of activation. Okay, got that. 
All right, now the final phase, I think. No, I no think the second to final phase. Yeah, production. production phase. <laughs> the farmers, herders, and miners of your local loyal provinces and trappers and scouts in the ice waste will all contribute to bid for their freedom. The more havens you have in play, the more resources you gain. Look at the space on your player board with the highest production that is uncovered. So three and one. Then gain those resources. I get two of each. So if we look here, I have one salt, one plunder, and four food. You can give me that. Two. Damn. Okay, so one salt. One plunder and four food. Wow. All right. I didn't get shit. You also yeah. gain bonus resources oh. from. Oh, oops, sorry. Minus two, 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 two. 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 Yeah. You also gain bonus resources from each hex with a haven. Normally, a woods or highlands with a haven produces two plunder, a marsh or badlands, two food, and an ice waste, two salt. So I have one here. Yeah. So I get two plunder. Two plunder. What do you. And He's got one he there. gets two food. Two food. There is no limit to how many resources you can store. What about that other one? The what other one? You got that already. Oh, the home one. That is the, the your, home one. Yeah. Your one that's over. Nice. Scoring phase. Now the final phase. So this was just the first turn. But this game said it only lasts between four turns yeah. and something. Yeah. Turns. Um, or four. I think it only lasts four turns. Okay, uh, scoring phase. Collectively, you must all defeat the oppressive empire and the dreaded chaos invaders. If you fail, your people will become thralls of the enemy. At the end of each chapter, all factions will score VP. The empire. One VP for each hex with any number of garrisons. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of VP. You're joking, right? <laughs> they just won? There's Are no way. There's just a shit ton of Not they either. just won, but yeah. they're getting a lot of points. Yeah. So, um, I know that... that why is there a garrison out there that were? Why did? Why is that? Fuck, I don't know. Give it to oh, me. Might, might have, no, it wouldn't be Just there. give it to me. Fuck it. Uh, they have enough already. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give them seven victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> one victory point for each legion. Oh, shit. That's the wrong one. Hold on. That was the right one. They're, nope. they're green. No. Purple. Horde? Oh, it's yeah. purple. Legion. Seven. seven. Uh, one victory point for each legion on the map. Uh, there's just that one. Okay. Uh, two victory points for each faction in the Imperial Graveyard. There's none. none. Um, the Empire does not gain victory points shown on a hex. After you score the Empire, return any units in their graveyard to the reserve. Okay, now we do it for Chaos. Actually, so this is where Chaos scores. So yeah. remove their score. Yep. One VP for each curse on the map. One, two. Three. Where? One, two, three. three. Yeah. One VP for each horde on the map. One. Two VP for each faction in the Chaos Graveyard. One, two, three, four. All right. So they both scored seven. Eight. Four, or they both scored eight points. Yeah. And, all right. Player factions. Two VP for each haven they have on the map. Uh, let's do me first. Yep. I only have one. Some hexes show one VP next to their resources. Uh, if a player has a haven on such hex, gain that VP now. No. I do. Well, we're, okay. Yep. Um, and then we were doing me. Yeah. Players now spend any five resources for one VP without limit and give each and give each VP to any one faction. This is normally done in on the last chapter. Yeah. So we won't. I guess we yeah. won't do that right now. At the end of the last chapter, the the game is over. So all right. Okay, so what about done. you? So I would have two for the f for the garrison, right? Mm -hmm. And then That's a one for the. That's a haven. Not a the haven, whatever. And then one for what? One for my. Um, Territory gives yeah. me one. I didn't get that because my guy killed me. Yeah. Uh, and then Patrick. Uh, I get four, four, five. Yeah, five. 
Yeah, tied so Patrick him. is tying the enemy. Yeah. Caught up. Winning the game. At the end of the last chapter, the game is over. All the players each into if all the players each individually have more VP than the Empire and Chaos, congratulations. You've collectively built the strongest possible bulwark against the encroaching chaos and defeated the relic of the Empire. Your allied people will be able to forge new nations in the ruins of Azul. At the end of the last chapter, if the Empire has equal two or more points than a player, your people face enslavement again yeah. as they are outflanked and ground down by the military machine. At the end of the last chapter, if chaos has equal or more, you have suffered a fate worse than death. Either way, there's little hope for life in Azul. The free factions have faltered before the tide. All right. Well, cool. I guess that's where we'll end it. We just learned the game and actually play the game, this this one. What did you guys think of this one, just based on one turn? Based on the one turn, I, I, I like it. Um, once we got going, I think it, it'll it'll speed up right a lot we faster. Didn't get, we didn't get a whole turn to do the knowledge. Right. It seems pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, um, they get victory points. Yeah, they're, it's really fast. they're spawning quite a bit. It's not an easy game, yeah. I can tell. I guess. I but can see you that. need to work together pretty hard. It's very unique. A a four X cooperative fantasy one. Yeah, with a with a enemy AI mechanic and an there. enemy yeah. AI. Because sometimes you'll have like a co op option, mm -hmm. yeah. but this game is like co op only. I actually like it, and I would play it again for yeah. sure. Yeah, I definitely I would, I would it say it it's not a bad game. I would say yeah. it's probably a good game. It has piqued my interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to. Plus, when you when you say okay, we know we only have four. We got four three turns. quests left. Yeah, even though yeah. turns are, are pretty long, but I mean, some I of them. I feel like each turn we need to be doing more quests with yeah. our heroes because that'll give us more victory points. Yeah, if we complete them. Um, so it seems like your heroes need to go out and buy items so that they could do better on quests. Right. While you build armies and pick your battles in the armies that you yeah. don't necessarily need a big army but in the beginning. I will say that my god it looks like you're you're gaining resources at an insane rate yeah you I, know yeah, at I the end of one turn I feel like I've got enough for an entire game but I guess that's what's going to allow me to replenish any of the people that I lost and then bring out my elites right. you have way more resources than us though how many yeah my mine yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it's, it's not yeah. bad but it's <laughs> I was it's, doing so much more I actually like Not this one, and I would I would definitely play yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I like it, and I, I play it again. Only thing, I, I don't know how to I, I I don't know how I feel about They're these standees. Meeples. You don't like the t uh, standees? I, I I think for this game, in order to not, uh, you know, fill the board with too many miniatures, which are going to cover everything, right. I think it's acceptable for this yes. game, especially when you put the miniatures for the buildings. I do like how the stuff. buildings work. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. that's and cool. everything is so neatly laid out and clean. It feels like a well play tested and yeah. a well designed yeah. Yeah. in manufacturing and rules and everything yeah. like yeah. thought out. And everything, everything is quality. All of, quality. all the card stock is very nice. Yeah. All the the cards are very nice. Um, all the the extras, the the little gems and uh, yeah. stuff like that. So Patrick, very 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 good. I liked it. I I would definitely uh, you know play a whole game of it. Yeah. It was uh, like from the jump, like it was you could tell like everything was like very laid out for you with like the rule book and it, like had like corresponding like pictures to. Mm -hmm. The the rules which I always like, uh, and it's pretty easy to understand for how like how long the the turns are. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. I, I I liked it. I, I dig it. Sweet. Well, next time, guys, join us next Sunday. Uh, we'll be we'll probably have another um, tabletop game. Um, we don't know exactly as we get further into this, we'll have a schedule. We'll yeah. know what we're going to play. We don't know what we're going to play in the future. I will say that I have a heroes of my magic board game that I'm dying to play. Yes. Um, yeah. I know Alex loves heroes of my magic too. I love it. I love it. That, yeah. That's one of my all time and you favorites. Like it? Yeah. That's yeah. an old school. One. It is definitely yeah. old school. Um, and then we've got plenty. We've got a really, really special uh, dice tower made for us by Den of Imagination that we can't wait to show y'all. It is epic. And so we'll yeah. probably play a Games Workshop game soon. 
um, on a coming Wednesday. Probably not this Wednesday, but maybe next Wednesday. So we'll stay tuned. Uh, plenty of uh, tabletop and uh, and board games coming. Yep. And then more video games content uh, starting Monday. We'll have the AJS News and probably some Dragon's Dogma. All right. Bye, everybody. Later.